Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, character, chapter, and boss in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man who's always, uh, you know, he's, he's, you can't get him out of your head. Uh, he's also sticky. Um, sticky white stuff. Demon souls. Uh, a man who played Webster. Nope. Um, a man who puts the spider inside her, Will Hughes. Hey, Gary. <laughs> was it Wiggle Will back for it's Comedy Week? Wiggle Will is back for Comedy Week. Hey, Wiggle Will. Yeah, Gary. Did you hear the one about the claustrophobic astronaut? I did not, Gary. People don't tell me jokes as a rule. Well, he just needed a little space. <laughs> oh no no that was my laughter oh that's why nobody tells you jokes wiggle will we cracked the solving case oh well i wish we could uncrack it I, mm, you got a rough can't, un- can't uncrack an egg have you, been to, oh, have you been to an ear nose and especially throat doctor lately I have not, Gary. I am not allowed to go to the doctor's office. Are you not insured? I have the kind of insurance that only covers a coffin. Uh, you got double double bronze? Uh, I have the KP double bronze 102. Yeah, that's a, that's unfortunate uh, for comedy week. Um, <laughs> have you considered a great <laughs> comedy week? Have you considered a GoFundMe wiggle will to get your? I uh, have laugh been rejected out? from GoFundMe. They and suggested you... I go to Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> Me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get serious here. That's those last you going. And the bus has been shut down for curfew. Yeah, I am. I'm crashing with Will now. Oh boy! I live in his throat. Uh, it's like I'm kind of movie. a David Lynch character. Yeah. Well, I, I think everybody knew that based on your first appearance. You know? Check hey. the archives, smiling Stan. Yeah. Well, you can check the archives because this podcast ages very well. Because by the time this comes out, all these problems will be solved. <laughs> Comedy Week did it again. Boing, boing. All right, I'm going to go climb into the corner of the room and attach myself to the ceiling. Okay, is that your watching perch? Your hereditary-esque watching perch? Watching slash masturbating. Oh, it's sticky white stuff. Great segue, Gary. Thank you. B- bring into sticky bombs the bombs that are covered with gum. <laughs> bring in a the sticky bombs. Bring it a sticky bomb. If you don't want the Craig Healy thing, you gotta stop. I know. <laughs> well, I love Italian accents. <laughs> you like it the juice, Gary? I do um, like it the ju- like it the juice. He likes the juice. Boy, the is juice there is a good, less right? is there a less funny SNL sketch that is stuck in your brain forever um, till you fucking I mean, die, man? Let me think. If there's something less than that, and so I watched that again because somebody tweeted it. Sure. Yeah, you know, sketch is seven minutes long. It's really long, and there's no joke. <laughs> there's no joke, and like Mike Myers and George Alexander are just kind of hanging out for like a good minute of it. Yeah, just kind of like you guys make up some improv about lunch, uh, and there's it's it's really rough. Uh, Gary, really do you mean Jason stuff. Alexander who played George? I did mean that. <laughs> <laughs> got me. Fucking got me with that got- trivia. Fact. It's just a fact, man. <laughs> no, it's trivia that George, Jason Alexander is not George Alexander. <laughs> Your name is Trivia now. <laughs> That's Trivia Boy. You got Trivia boy on Comedy Week. Uh, hey, Will. Yeah, Gary. Why don't scientists trust Adams? Uh, boy, now I'm trying to reverse engineer the joke. I, I love doing that, like treating these kind of jokes like riddles. Okay. Why don't they? Let's see. It's not because they're neither positive nor negative. Mm-mm-mm. They form covalent bonds. Uh, mm-hmm. They're always reacting. Gary, those, I don't know. Those are all good answers, but the actual answer is because they make up everything. 
Okay, yeah. I was trying to be uh, a little, maybe I was trying to be a little too, uh, a little, little too intellectual really for this fucking show. Not a doctor. Um, the, I'm absolutely uh, not a doctor. Not a scientist. Um, I'm getting these from Reader's Digest Canada. Oh, nice. The, uh, the, I thought they had a, a Canadian whiff to them. They, they do, they do have a gentleness to them. The tabs at the top of this mm-hmm. are menu, pandemic life, jokes, health, Games, our Canada, and video. <laughs> What's games? The do, they have a, do they like the new Apex strategies? Let me find out. I've been playing a lot of Apex lately. Uh, quizzes and puzzles. Okay. Um, oh, 40 Thieves Solitaire. Mm. Arcadium Bubble Shooter. Sweet Shuffle. You know? Mahjong. Oh, oh, I got a fun text from my mom. <laughs> you know how fun it is when my mom texts? We read them on the show. Yeah, is it, is, it, is, it, is it like a very sweet and well-meaning uh, kind of thing that references here's, this show? Here's the fun text from my mom. This is also sad. Boing! Boing. Comedy week. <laughs> Comedy week. Exact bombs. This one's not as good as the last one. <laughs> here's a dark joke. How do you drown a hipster? <laughs> Jeez, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten his pants around his neck? You throw him in the mainstream. Okay, so... You read them too many letters to Cleo. Um, yeah, I don't know. Boy, this is a... Throw him in the mainstream. Throw him in the mainstream. Because yeah. he's no longer a hipster if he's mainstream. I guess. And anyone can drown in a stream is the joke that Canada's trying to make. Most people can drown on a stream. If you're significant, if you're... I think if you're fat enough, you can't drown, drown in a stream. Yeah, if like you got enough neck fat to hold your head above the Yeah, it would be hard to uh to drown Violet from uh Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah. After she's inflated? Yeah. It'd be she's hard just to gonna roll her back face justice. Um <laughs> I mean there are other ways we could execute this child. I just yeah, think by, drowning by would be a tricky them. one. <laughs> it's just the way they actually do it. Uh God, uh, Roll Doll, famous racist. Yeah, famous racist. Boing. Boing. Um, sticky bombs. Uh, the worst of the two bomb items, you're right. Yeah. Uh, better. No, no, worse aesthetically. I was going to say better, but I actually like the uh, the scatter bombs, bombs visual. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, like I, this is a little web covered cum bomb uh, that adds a cum bomb dispenser to your butt. Gary, I'm going to need you to stop naming Red Hot Chili Peppers albums at me. <laughs> web. Web covered cum bomb. <laughs> <laughs> those funky monks uh they stick Spring to enemies out. if they bounce into them or more likely if you happen to have homing bombs uh yeah and if they kill an enemy they generate they make a blue spider it's not it's pretty underwhelming pretty underwhelming i most, mostly want this for five bombs yeah um it's pretty rare that an enemy will get close to a bomb and the sticking will make a difference Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like, yes, this means they can't touch it and then leave, but the time a bomb takes to, uh, gestate is not so long that this becomes a factor really, I think. Ooh, what if there was an item that made bombs take twice as long to go off, but quadrupled their damage? That's a great idea for an item or a trinket. That sounds like a trinket to me a little bit. Okay. Like maybe not quadruple, like, but like I mean, double like, and it'd be like a I trinket. Feel, that feels like shade. No, not shade. I just think that it would be a nice little passive effect you can pick up. Uh, Hey, Will. Yeah, Gary. How does Moses make tea? Uh... <laughs> this is also a weird one. Yeah. Like, I'm, just, like I'm running through my Moses references. So we yeah. got Parting the Red Sea. We got Let My People Go. We got Plagues. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gary, I don't know. I don't fucking know. And it's, it's uh, pissing... <laughs> Gary, it's pissing me the fuck off that I don't it, know. It's that you read this... That these fucking Canadian shitheads have made me feel less. Yeah. I feel lesser than right now. I'm and I already felt like Canadian. nothing. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews. That's just racist. I know. Boing. Boing. Um, Canada, bombs. Canada, come on. Get your shit together. Do you think that when Isaac gets this uh, red hot chili pepper bomb, that he the bombs now come from inside his body? I think they always came. Proboscis. They always came from inside his body. So Isaac has always given birth to these bombs out of his. Isaac doesn't have clothes, dude. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like everything uh, is being carried in internal pockets. Do you think uh, 
or is this TV troper likes to call it hammer space? Sure. Do you think he uh, pees out the bombs or poop poops out the bombs? I think you have to assume he's pooping out the bombs, Gary. Yeah. For Isaac. For, you know, for a different Isaac? Game, yeah. A different game. Perhaps he pee pee the bombs. Perhaps he pee pee out of the bombs. <laughs> perhaps out of he pee pee the bombs. Gary, can you give us a seed as we do every single uh, episode of everything together <clears throat> for this item? I, I sure can. Uh, I think I can. Oh, the seed is is stuck behind a window. Okay, uh, I had to had to adjust my thing because of the gamepedia. The game. All right. Okay. Uh, here's the seed. It is for the PC. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And this is uh, C L G M G E V B. Squeak squeak. Squeak squeak. Boing boing. This won't get annoying. Oh, Gary, I just hit a, I hit a wall, man. I just did you did you feel us hit the wall just then? Yeah, I, I'm going to bring it back though. Yeah, you're going to bring the of, energy back up because yeah. I'm kind of devoted to this new energy, so I'm going to try to sabotage whatever you All do right. to bring the energy. Should, okay, that, thank you for declaring that in advance. <laughs> yeah, um, as opposed to it just being assumed most of the time. Yeah, say check made out loud. You have to call your shots. <laughs> uh, what kind of exercise do lazy people do, Will? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, buddy. I don't fucking know. Diddly squats? I don't think they do. Yeah, this isn't a... Uh, a veto that joke. <laughs> this, isn't, this joke is not factually accurate. Yeah. What does Charles Dickens keep in his spike, spice rack? Uh, the, the, you could, you no, could no, probably I, guess that. I, I think, no, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh... God, does he have one that has like time in the name? Um, he kind of does. You're oh, right, you're close. Gary, Charles just tell, Dickens. just fucking tell me. Charles, uh, the Dickens. best of times, the worst of times. That's Fuck, that's a, that's a line from the book. Well, that's what he keeps in his spice rack. It that joke that... was a tale of two shitties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gary, what should people do if they like the show? I don't know. <laughs> I, you should uh, go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv if you feel like it. Yeah. Give the guppy bump and then give the real bump to actual causes. Yeah. Because uh, the world is bad. And then leave us a rating review on Apple Podcast. Like this like. five-star review from Tech Smurf. Thank you, Tech Thank Smurf. Thank you, Tech Smurf. A show with a vision. At some point in the past, on a different podcast... Station manager Gary Butterfield told network CEO Cole Ross, everything to Guppy must be the dumbest hey. show on the network. Three stars for firmly adhering to this mantra at all times, an extra star for the Guppy bump. Yep. And negative a million stars for implying Cole's my boss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you found the thing I'm utterly humorous about. Like Will is about his name. Yeah. I, re I resist very strongly the urge to make those jokes, but the, the, if, the, yeah. if the listeners write one, I got to read it, buddy. <laughs> like, it's a five-star review. i my hands like this, and if you walk into it, uh, good night. Good night. Boing. Boing.